Praise the Lord. Praise the name of Jesus. This is Evangelist Brenda Thompson coming to you today. Today I greet you in no other name than in Jesus mighty name. The title of my message to you today is the right to be born. My message is taken from Judges chapter 11 verse 1 to 12. And my reference is Judges chapter 11 verse 29. And Galatians chapter 3 verse 13 and 14. Now Jephthah the Gilead, the Gilead, was a man, a mighty man of valor, and he was the son of a harlot. And Gilead begat Jephthah, and Gilead's wife bare his him sons, and his wife's son grew up. And they trust our Jephthah, and said unto him, Thou shalt not inherit in our father's house, for thou art the son of a strange woman. Then Jephthah fled from his brethren, and dwelt in the land of Tom. And there were gathered vain men to Jephthah, and went out with him. And it came to pass, in process of time, that the children of Ammon made war against Israel. And it was so that when the children of Ammon made war against Israel, the elders of Gilead went to fetch Jephthah out of the land of Tom. And they said unto Jephthah, Come and be our captain that we may fight with the children of Ammon. And Jephthah said unto the elders of Gilead, Did not ye hate me and expel me out of my father's house? And why are ye come unto me now when ye are in distress? And the elders of Gilead said unto Jephthah, Therefore we turn again to thee now, and that thou mayest go with us, and fight against the children of Ammon, and be our head over all the inhabitants of Gilead. And Jephthah said unto the elders of Gilead, if we bring me home again to fight against the children of Ammon, and the Lord deliver them before me, shall I be your head? And the elders of Gilead said unto Jephthah, The Lord be witness between us. If we do not so according to thy words. Then Jephthah went with the elders of Gilead, and the people made him head and captain of them. And Jephthah uttered all his words before the Lord in this book. Verse 29, then the Spirit of the Lord came upon Jephthah, and he passed over Gilead and Manasseh, and passed over Mizpah of Gilead. And from Mizpah of Gilead, he passed over unto the children of Ammon. Please turn with me in your Bibles to Galatians chapter 3 verse 13 and 14. Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law, being made a curse for us. For it is written, Cursed is everyone that hangeth 
on a tree. That the blessing of Abraham might come on the Gentiles through Jesus Christ. That we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. Father, I come to you today. In order name today. That in Jesus mighty name. Lord, I pray that this message will be a blessing to each and every one under the sound of my voice. In Jesus' name. Amen. Do you know who you are? And do you know where you are going to? History lets us know in verse 1 that Jephthah, he was also a captain in the army, a Gileadite. It means that he was a seed of Abraham. He was also a captain in the army. He had came down from the ancestral bloodline of the tribe of Manasseh, of the tribe of Joseph. The name Manasseh means to forget your father's house. The name Jephthah means breakthrough. The name Gilead means mass of testimony. And the name Joseph means may God ask. So these were the ancestral bloodline of Jephthah. But history also added insult to injury by its public declaration of the birth of Jephthah. It is notable in history that Jephthah, meaning breakthrough, was an illegitimate, illegitimate child. His mother was a harlot. He was born out of wedlock, and that made his mother a single parent. And Jephthah, meaning breakthrough, was a fatherless child from birth. But history also lets us know the identity of Jephthah's father, his name and nature. His name was Gilead, and that he belonged to the tribe of Manasseh from the tribe of Joseph, and he lived in the location of his birthplace, Gilead. However, Jephthah lost his rights because he was born out of wedlock to a single mother. History records as a prostitute. If you are listening to this message and as a child have experienced a similar situation, God can graft you into the seed of Abraham by becoming born again. In John 3.16, the Bible says, For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. In verse 2, Gilead married another woman, because there was a stigma to Jephthah's mother's reputation. Her name was never mentioned in history because no one thought that she was deserving or important enough. But God had a breakthrough coming for her rejected son, Jephthah. He was born to bring honor and glory to his mother. Jephthah was destined for greatness. He was about to become the next political leader in Gilead and in history. In verse 2, it speaks about Jephthah's 
rejection by a father's house. But today I came to remind you, let not your heart be troubled. In my father's house, there are many mansions. In verse 3, it speaks about Jephthah's dwelling place, the land of Tob, a place of violence and sinfulness. In Isaiah chapter 26 and verse 3, the Bible said that thou shalt keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on thee. Verse 4 to 6, in the process of time, times and events have changed. In verse 5 to 9, Hallelujah. It was so that when the children of Ammon made war against Israel, the elders of Gilead went to fetch Jephthah out of the land of Tob. And they said unto Jephthah, Come and be our captain, that we may fight with the children of Ammon. And Jephthah said unto the elders of Gilead, Did not ye hate me and expel me out of my father's house? And why are ye come unto me now when ye are in distress? And the elders of Gilead said unto Jephthah, Therefore, we turn again to thee now, that thou mayest go with us and fight against the children of Ammon and be our head over all the inhabitants of Gilead. And Jephthah said unto the elders of Gilead, If ye bring me home again to fight against the children of Ammon, and the Lord shall deliver them before me, Shall I be your head? In the process of time. In verse 10 to 12 speaks about the agreement and the promise. Jephthah was promoted as king and captain in the palace of his birth and in the place of his rejection. His stepbrothers and stepmother and his father were never ever promoted in the land where Jephthah and his mother were a reproach. History has recorded the change of event and the victory that Jephthah's mother experienced as a woman with a stigma and single parent. To crown it all, Jephthah experienced something awesome, the victory, and it proved that he was a seed of Abraham. If you are a woman and can identify with the stigma and loneliness of Jephthah's mother history, you are not alone and God loves you. I conclude with the blood of Jesus pray right now if you need a breakthrough. Hallelujah. Oh, the blood of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus for all those who need a breakthrough today. I plead, I plead the blood of Jesus the blood in the atmosphere, the blood against every principality and every power, every throne and every kingdom, the blood in the atmosphere, the blood upon your marriage, your situation, and all your circumstances today. If you need a breakthrough today, I plead the blood of Jesus upon each and every one of your lives right now.
God bless you. In Jesus' name. Amen.